this is the URUAV PGI goggles module with the uh, metal casing. This is actually the version 3 plus. Um, it comes with this casing. The casing comes with this part joined together. So you need to break it off by putting a bit of pressure there. So I would advise you to put on a pair of gloves and break it off so that you won't hurt yourself. The thing that you need to be aware of with this casing is that um, once you put your uh, rapid fire receiver on, um, it's very hard to take it off without damaging the these tabs on the uh, um, your rapid fire cover. Before you have put your cover on, make sure that you check everything and make sure that this is working properly and also that you put this um, holder in the correct position otherwise you have to pry this open and you may break the tabs like I broke a bit of off here but as you can see it fits really tightly so this is a version 3 plus you have this low voltage buzzer I think you can reset that with this button and this is the on off switch and this on off switch is quite flimsy so I would suggest that you keep it on uh, all the time instead of turning it on and off if you turn it off the power to your DJI goggles will also be off so you can't really uh, leave this on on your DJI goggles with this turn off because then there will be no power going to your goggles the other thing that you probably can do is just leave this on you disconnect this uh, power cable and then connect your DJI cable to your goggles so the metal casing is pretty good it's quite of high quality once you have everything inside here it's well protected so it should be good and also it's a bit of weight on your goggles um, so I weigh this and you can see up on the screen as to how much this all weighs and then you can decide whether you want this to be on your goggles or not so once you install everything together all you need to do is just slide this into the slot like that and then you connect your AV cable here and your power cable here and then you connect your battery here you have to do as well so like I said earlier um, if you want to leave this on the goggles you just take this off and then you slide your uh, uh, your battery cable and connect like that you can leave it on like that but, but the problem of leaving this on like this is um, this can slot out quite easily and you may feel a bit of weight on your head so if you don't use this very often just take it off and um, I think it's much better so like I said earlier this is on off switch because I have this um, this TBS side cable so I have an on off switch here so I don't need to have this on all off and on all the time so I can switch it on and off so I attach my uh, uh, this cable permanently to my goggles with a bit of zip tie and there's a bit of flex here so I can easily store this away so if you want to do that you can do it you can leave your module on here like that so just make sure that it doesn't slide off so maybe keep this AV cable on here just to hold on to this uh, module so in terms of quality, in terms of value, this is pretty good. Um, in terms of um, the design, it also, it also looks good. It looks premium. But I would prefer something like a DG adapter, which you can 
replace this face plate and the DG repeater will go on this face plate. It's currently out of stock and I don't know when it's coming back. So this is a good alternative. And I have used version 1 before. Version 1 is pretty good. So I suppose this is also pretty good. So I'm not going to have any videos of me using this. Like I said, this is a bit, a bit more weight on your goggles. So if you want to take it off, you can do that. Just take this off. And then take the cable off. And then if you want it back on again, just do that then. So it's not that hard. So hope you guys like and enjoy this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Just remember quadcopter is not rocket science. See you next time.